Good afternoon, good morning, and good evening, wherever you are in the cosmos. AJ Dodgeda reporting for duty, and I got my aviator shades on because it's time for race combat. Weird thing, this game came out 15 years ago today, hence why we're streaming it. Actually, really made me feel slightly old suddenly. Like, holy crap, I'm pretty sure I played this in high school. <laughs> Uh, no, being an Xbox 360 game, uh, it has to like go through the whole emulation or backwards compatibility for the Xbox One or sorry, Series X on there. So, whatever reason, it has not detected the DLC. Apparently, that's not backwards compatible. So, no Idol Master skins on the planes. <laughs> but hey. So we just jump straight into it because Ace Combat is going to be a fun game. I did consider uh, superimposing myself in the cockpit like I do with um, Mech Warrior, but considering, uh, well, two things: one, Ace Combat games have amazing cutscenes; I wouldn't have to, I'd have to keep toggling on and off. And two. I'm pretty sure not everyone would appreciate me having cockpit view considering how much I spin. <laughs> so we'll stick with third person camera. Normal or hard? I'm a veteran. I know it's, I mean, hard only really Increases damage values for, or rather, reduces the amount of armor you have on your plane and decreases your ammo amount. So, well, it's too hard. Normal controls, which is proper invert, because while well, a joystick in a plane is actually inverted, you pull back, you go up. I know, I've flown a real one <laughs> once. Uh, English voice, English subtitles. I'm surprised there's no Japanese option, but yeah. But Ace Combat Games has such good stories. Hopefully, I'm not too much in the way of the cutscene. Well, that frame rate doesn't feel smooth. I might scooch me over a tiny bit. Like, what is this family getting ready for a school day? Have to do with airplanes. Mm -hmm. Here, honey, an offering for the king. <laughs> See you later, mom. Why is the audio sound a bit off? Listen to your teacher, okay? And uh, give the king my best. Dance with an angel, Let me know if the volume doesn't sound bounces all right. I'm just forgetting. It's 15 years old. Maybe that's why the audio is not as crisp. That's our way of saying goodbye. My it's husband a nice is house. An Air Force pilot and not me. Fighter planes hmm. as angels. Ah, when yes. When you go on a mission that kept him away from home, I'd tell him in frustration to go dance with his angels. Dance with the angels. I love this. is one thing that I love about this game. This and now she uses it all the time. Hmm. There's a nice so dance with the angels. From our house. That iron giant is the, it's like the golden gate, but double the length. Our capital city. In so the peaceful. Of the city beyond the bridge, you can make out an ancient castle, which is even more famous than the bridge. My daughter Matilda is going there on a field trip today. <gasps> field trip. In the throne room rests the Golden King. The Golden King. Some this of these reflections are like six hundred years now. The quality I would do it back at university. The king was a gentle person. Was a hey, it's fifty years old. Suicide. It's fine. But he crafted a giant suit of armor that convinced his enemies to surrender without a single fight. He's smiling too. Afterwards, they found such 
such warmth in his smile that they bowed down to him in humility. I wonder if the reality of that story is like That's how the story goes. a little different. His you know, stories are not always accurate. The, hearts of our people. the very face my daughter and the others got on a bus to see this morning. Everyone loves school trips, right? I'm sure nothing's going to horror. Nothing will go wrong in this nice, peaceful day. It's a lovely, beautiful weather. Nani? There's a war crime. I have no idea what's happening. Do we have a we should have like a war crime counter? And the shaking. Was that a blast of wind from an explosion? Yep. The castle disappeared behind a pillar of flame. Mission one invasion of Grimit Grismeria through the heart of a nation. Something I've always loved about Ace Combat games is they always tell the story from someone else's point of view. It's never like directly from your point of view because you're always a silent protagonist. There's something I love. Scramble immediately. We need to defend our home. Like hangar, it'll just be. F it's 16 to start with, I think. Yeah. Let's go, Gruda one. Yeah. The Fighting Falcon. Like, when did we stream Project Wingman? Was that like back in March? It was a while ago. Even though Project Wingman's a newer game, its graphical level was only s slightly better than this. Garuda team, time to take off. But this is like, what, like a small three-man team or something like that? Whereas this is a long-running franchise. Even though it's called Ace Combat 6, it's technically not the sixth game. Because there's Zero, which is a prequel to Five. And then I think there's a couple of PSP games I never played. It's funny, this was the first one that was not a PlayStation game. It was weirdly an Xbox 360 exclusive. <laughs> Whereas everyone before was PlayStation 2 or PS1 or PSP. It's kind of funny. It upset a lot of people, but not me because I preferred the Xbox at that point in time. Let's go to the skies. Oh no, not a drill. Roger, Roger. I mean, Roger, Dodger. Oof. Bridge. Why do we don't have wingmen? Were they on holiday today? Hey, Shamrock. How did you become a pilot? <laughs> oh, my microphone peak there. Are you too close? I think I do. There we go. Move that way a teeny bit. Time to rock and roll. Oop, oh, I changed it. Do barrel roll. We are currently in a state of emergency. Our nation is under attack by unknown forces. Do whatever you can to hide your turn. Let's go. This is the way. The 
Oh no. IG, let's go. Don't tell me what to do, I'm your squadron leader. Wait, that's a different game. Oh, yeah, I've got a set to kilometers an hour and meters, I'm pretty sure. So if you use freedom units, ha, ah, you won't know what I'm doing. I think you're going, pal. We've got an idea on the invaders. We're engaged with the Estobachian military. How dare. Oh, asshole. Bye bye. This is the way. Oh, missed it. Swing it around. B-52 at this launch, dude. That's crazy. Woo! Good for them. How rude, I know. How many people are being murdered on the surface right now? All of them. Actually, I'm going to switch that back because... Is that be easier that way around? But my brain's getting confused from like muscle memory. And I immediately forgot I changed it. Genius. You're going. Go back here. Ooh, God, that nearly hit me. I'll get him off my tail. It's your job, right? Damn it, Shamrock. Mm. Oh, come on. I got you. Got him. IG. Gonna cleanse the skies. These sons of bitches. Guns, guns, guns! All right, pay missiles. Hey, good missed. Why won't you die? Has even fired the full look salvo there. Oops. Watch out! The enemy has a lock on you. How dare they! My brain keeps swapping between type A and type B. Having beat the back button be the map is probably better. Yo, I patch you up my way. Good. Plane at a time. I excel. One plane at a time. 
This is away. Oh, B-52s. Gun range. Big bada boom. Watch out. The enemy has a lock on you. How dare they? How dare. Alright. This is the way. I'm gonna miss one of those guys at least. I missed you, eh? Well, not gonna miss you now. All right. Good for them. Target rich environment, that's for sure. I can't remember if there's a. I know there's only really specific targets, but I'm sure there's a hang if you like, wipe them all out. I can't remember. F4E, I love the F4. Those missile trails look a little pixely. I know it's probably that problem. I'm pretty sure this game was only 720p, and I'm going on a 1080p monitor. <laughs> so it looks a little weird to me. Hope they don't drop a bomb on you. Well, five players. No, not in this game. That was Project Women to add players. Fine. Oh, I only got two of them left. Okay. Enemy chopper down. Enemy tanks. Like each level has an ace pilot somewhere where you can get like a special skin unlock. But I don't remember how to make them spawn. <laughs> Some have like certain objectives, like certain scores. Ghost die. Oh no, he's getting away. In gun range. Careful now. The enemy has you on radar. Woo. How dare. Kill confirmed. Got him. Badly oop. Oh, you escaped. Get him. Get him now. Target Got him. Okay, grow to two. I get it. A few targets left. Wipe them all out. Not just the objectives, but everyone. Well, I have run out of special weapons, unfortunately. Watch out! The enemy has a lock on you. Get it behind them. You got them. Good old-fashioned guns. Ooh, don't stall now. 
Uh, that's range, probably not. Uh, got a gun, though. Gotta love some gun kills. Oh, no. Wrong angle. No, you don't. Can't escape me. Who is that over there? C-17, eh? So there's not many green targets left. So let's try and finish them off. And I think that will spawn the name taste pilot? Can't remember. It has been probably 10 years since I played this one. Or maybe it just spawns more. Yeah, I feel like every squadron that goes down spawns a new squadron. Perhaps. Do, 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 do. I love it. It's combat's main theme. This guy as well. Ooh, thought I missed for a second. A B-52 committing war crimes, left, right, and center. Wow. Maybe we didn't spawn in this mission. Hmm. Oh. This is the job done, shall we? Where's that last few targets? Because they're just going to keep spawning, aren't they? Yeah. Okay. Enemy plane down. Nailed it. Unless Rot Row. Ace enemy aces and their flying fortress. Crime incoming. They ain't holding out back, are they? What's this? Missiles. Nani? Air burst. Time to GTFO. What the hell was that? F fourteen's got straight line speed over me. Enemy cruise missile incoming. Those are no ordinary cruise missiles. A fake like hell if you want to look at the line. Damn it. What about our city? What about Grace Maria? We'll have to deal with it later. Good luck or not? Come on. Get him. Got him. Warning. Additional enemy planes have been spotted on radar. Well, here comes Strigan team. Yeah. 
damn striggin. Ooh, ooh. My first hit. And there are SU 27s. Oh, I took one down, though. God damn it. I don't want to follow the order. This is Garuda 2 to Garuda 1. We really should get out of here. We should. But Stricken team's right in front of me. I can kill them. Yes, he is. Oh, that was way too fast, though. Okay. I got one. Time to zig and zag. Barrel roll. Yeah, they're faster than me, though. That's kind of awkward. I'm going to come back with an even more powerful plane and kick your ass. Mark my words. I took out one of you guys, so, you know. Ooh, shit. Cover me, Shamrock. Do your job. <laughs> I'm trying. Ooh, I think Shamrock guy had in the leader. Hey, Stregan leader, how'd you feel? Hehe. <laughs> now we'll get in the back off for a bit. Yeah, they, they broke off as well. All right, Shamrock, let's go regroup with everyone else. Garuda team, you've made it out of the combat zone. Head for the and we took it to a Stregan team, I think. I promise we'll be back for you. Just a little longer. I promise. Yeah, Shamrock, let's go. We'll be back. Oh, yeah, there's a replay. Look up that. Those are always fun to watch when, like, you've uh, done it really fast and you just watch re it in, like, a few minutes. Valiant efforts on the battlefield. But our capital, Grace Maria, has been temporarily occupied by Estevakian forces. And our central government has been usurped by them as well. The nation of Estevakia had declared war with our country as it simultaneously launched a surprise attack on Grace Maria. In response, Bastards. the Republic of Emeria's political council unanimously adopted a resolution of open war against the Federal Republic of Estevakia. Our forces remaining on the Emerian mainland are still fighting in desperation How to protect dare. our country. Once our intelligence has been sorted and confirmed, the Republic of Emeria's armed forces must immediately regroup and counterattack against the Federal Republic of Estevakia. The beautiful country of Emeria belongs to us, and only us. Emeria. Give your hearts. For Maria. Hey, total rank of A. I think you can't get any higher than that, right? 
don't remember. I did take 26% damage, though. Ouch. Ah, we did get one Strigan. And I think Shamrock damaged another one. Which was the leader, because he, he disappeared, literally just vanished. But Strigan 4, he did. Fire and smoke rises from the city before me. The king's bridge is gone. The bridge is gone. No. Hopefully your daughter wasn't on at the time. game compelling the stories the story of the, the people around about the battle a night when the sky was radiant with shooting stars that night combat six father and I made countless wishes together an asteroid called Ulysses came into Earth's orbit oh yes yeah, so Ulysses millions of pieces which poured down on the land below. As we watched the shooting stars that night, fragments from the asteroid rained down on our eastern neighbor, Estovac. Yeah, they got a little screwed a over. Great deal of their infrastructure and devastating their economy. Soon after, the news reported that their nation had fallen into a civil war, one that would last for years. Yeah, Ulysses' comet is very important Eventually, to the entirety of his, strife his combat's timeline. The end when the generals came into power. The generals. In the midst of hardship, the citizens of Estovacchia were convinced that the only way they could recover as a nation was to rely on a military government led by these generals. Before sure. Them, they went so far as to invade our nation, the Republic of Ameria. Our military was forced to retreat to Kessid, an island far to the west. Do, do, My husband, do, a fighter do, pilot, do. also hasn't come home since. And now you're a refugee. In your own country. I walk on. I am unable to think. All That's what's so compelling about this story. Every We're having fun in the sky. The twisted remains of my daughter's school bus. Oh, my soul yeah. Has left me. I am empty. Some of our tanks are parked at the approach to the bridge. There's a train still running on the other side of the river. She goes all the way out to the edge of the border. We've got to blast this bridge before the enemy gets a hold of it. So move it or lose it, people. Hmm. Here I see the wreckage. A horror of, of war. Shot down. On what's left of the nose, I can make out some writing. Melissa. It's my name. What a cruel twist of fate for me to see this. There's your husband. My husband, who had left for work that day with the same loving look on his face as always. He had painted my name on his angel. I go into the crowd on the train and endure two weeks of pure hell before finally ending up at a refugee camp at the border. Near the opposite end of your country. I don't know any of the names on the list. My compatriots, who have now become refugees, gather around a single radio to listen to the broadcast. 
even though the station is broadcasting out of Gracemeria, occupying forces have taken complete control of the airwaves. The enemy must have completely overtaken our capital, Grace Maria. Hmm. I forgot how heart wrenching the story is. Have we just begun? Covered. The announcer went on to say that our castle was robbed of countless antiquities that once were elaborately displayed in our castle. Stripped bare. As the Sabakian military, it is our sworn duty to govern this crumbling nation and get it back on its feet, starting right here in Grace Maria. I found a group of street children in front of the central station here. Where the area has literally been reduced to a slum. Step on up here, little girl. What do you have to say about all this? Go down to the angels, mister. My ears were not deceiving me. That voice belonged to my daughter, Matilda. She's alive! You didn't think the game was going to do that, did you? <laughs> New tutorial stages have been unlocked. ESM and waypoint supply? Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Ooh, metal. Bronze marksman. Was that for gun kills? I can't remember. Return of Xbox 360. Oh, you're making me do training? Okay. Fine. See, I've done these ones. I'll do the. I did these ones off stream. I was just testing things, so I'll do these quickly. Just to remember. Ooh, an Ilman turn. Your flight and combat training is about to start. Do what you're told to clear each section. Do what I'm told? Never. I rebel. Electronic support. Some allied aircraft are able to enhance the capabilities of other aircraft. These are known as electronic support planes. Why did I struggle with that sentence? Military support planes can be identified on the radar. Your aircraft's missile capabilities are enhanced when in the range of an electronic support plane. Support from several planes at once is possible. In other words, stackable. Electronic support will cease when passing out of the plane's error effect. That's like, my brain's reading it and just like paraphrasing it. It just enhances the tracking of your missiles. Hell yeah. So if you go to cockpit view. But I don't think people appreciate me if I do this. It might make you barf. <laughs> Come back here, you little shit. That one didn't. They're fast. Come back here. I'm staying in my zone. You come to me, and you die over here. That's right. Come back for another pass. And my tracking will be ready for you. Went to my parlor, said the spider to the fly. Head to the danger zone? Oh yeah. Hey, Waffle. Enemy kill confirmed. Oops. Fire an extra missile back. I went to the danger zone. That's what it was. That's when we played Project Wingman. And Top Gun Maverick came out. Ironically, considering it's Combat 7's the one that actually got the DLC permit. Yeah. Lock on. Garuda 1 launched missile. Missile struck target. 
Training done. All the training sequences. Looks like you're ready for the front lines. Of course I'm ready for the front lines. Waypoint resupply. I understand this. We're just getting these out of the way. Your flight and combat training is about to start. Do so something I'm thinking about with session. this playthrough is potentially breaking it up into like the individual missions and for like when I, when I upload it to YouTube. Might be good, I think. Maybe. I'll just like to see how long each part takes. I glossed over half of that. Gears down. The closer I get to the ground, the more I realize the textures are horrible. Touchdown. Resupply me now. Give me missiles. There's a dude in the sky. He's coming right for us. Ali oop. To die. Enemy down. Boom. You've cleared all the training sequences. Looks like you're ready for the front lines. Ready to front the front lines? How dare you think I'm a noob? I am a 15 year vet of this game. I got it the day it came out. You know what's funny? This is the first time I've put a disc in my Series X. I've not put any physical discs in my Series X since I got it. Choo choo. I am Lieutenant Colonel Wojciech of the Estovakian Air Force. I arrived on a oh, train hello. in Smeria. To my detriment, I sustained a leg injury in the early stages of the war. Well, Were you a stricken one? I am now working as an How's your leg? officer for the Air Force. The ceiling has collapsed in the central station. From there, the city appears resigned to its fate beneath the Estovakian flag. What a pitiful sight. But at You're least pitiful there are traitors to mar the land. They are lucky in that sense. Only man made craters. <laughs> By you bastards. <laughs> Thief! <laughs> there goes my spy clothing. <laughs> nice try, kid. But he's handcuffed. They will not be so lucky with these documents. What a miserable city this must be, with their children in such a state. Well, if you hadn't attacked it, then maybe they wouldn't be. A holes. <gasps> Where'd the king go? Someone looted the whole palace. The fine works of art once displayed in this castle were completely gone before the occupation forces arrived. Oh, really? Even so it wasn't you guys? The armor of the golden king, the collective heart and soul. The city's people. I mean, whoever lifted that and disappeared. Bravo. I must have been heavy fortunate information back to the generals in my country. They were quite fond of those antiquities. 
So what you're saying is, oh, sorry, we couldn't loot them, sir. Someone beat us to it. 